Hi, in this video, we're going to take a look at the six different ways how you can fix the alarm not going off on your iPhone uh, or your iPad running iOS 13. Now, the first thing that you want to check is the side button here. Make sure that the silent button is not uh, switching on. So, if it's down here, that means um, it is uh, now the it is in silent mode. So that means if your alarm goes off, it will not ring. So you, may, you want to make sure this switch here is turning on. So go, I mean turning off. So go in the up position. So it should be in the up position with no red mark. If there is a red mark, then your alarm will not go off. So switch it up like that. Now another things that you want to take notice is the ringer volume. So when you are pressing on the volume here, you can see it goes all the way up or down. This is the media volume that has been set by default. As you can see, when I press on the button, it changes the volume level, but it is a, a media volume and not a ring of volume. Media volume is used for uh, apps when you're watching videos, when you're playing games or any in-apps volumes. So they do, they do not change the ring of volumes. In order for you to change the ring of volume, you need to go into settings. So we're going to go into settings. And in settings, tap on sounds and haptics. Next, you can see at the top here, you can change the ring of volumes. So now let's say my ring of volume is really low. And if I press on the volume key here, you can see uh, volume is set at high, but my ring of volume still set at low. So make sure the ring of volume is set at high. If the, volume, if the ring of volume is too low, you may not be able to hear the alarm goes, uh, go off. So that is another thing that you can check is the silent switch and the volume key. So first, check them out first and make sure that they are set correctly. Okay, the next thing you want to check is the sound of your alarm that you have set. So go into clock app, then tap on alarm at the bottom, and then tap on the edit button. Now select, select the alarm. And tap on sound. You can see at the moment sound set to none. Make sure you go down the list here and select a sound that is very loud. So this is the default sound for iOS 13. So try that first. Try that sound and see if your alarm goes off with that sound. Now you can see at the top here you can pick a song. And sometimes by picking a song, your the song that you have selected, the sound may be too low and you can't hear it. So ensure you, that you choose a loud that is uh, loud enough that you can hear. So maybe you, perhaps you should try the default sound and see how you go with that. So make sure that you tap on the save button to save the changes. Another thing that you might want to check while you're here is that make sure that your alarm is switched on. If it is switched off, it will not go off. So make sure it is switched on. Now, another thing that can cause your alarm may not to go off correctly is the use of third-party apps. So sometimes uh, third-party apps, so here I got third-party apps, alarms apps, and sometimes they can cause interference with your stock alarm app. So perhaps if you have any alarm app on your phone, you can delete them. So I'm going to delete these two alarm clocks that I don't need. So tap on delete and then delete them. Delete any alarm app that you have on your phone as they may cause interference with the stock built-in uh, the built-in stock alarm uh, app. Now if that still doesn't work, perhaps you can try to soft reset your device. Soft reset your device will not cause you to lose any data. It's just basically clear the phone cache data. So to do so, this is on iPhone 11 Pro. So I'm going to uh, press on the the side button, the volume up and volume down keys. So first press on the volume up, then volume down, then press and hold to the side button. So let's do it now. Volume up, volume down, and then press and hold on the side button. So continue to hold. Hold the button until you see the Apple logo appear and then we can let go of the button. So we just wait, continue to wait. Now let go of the uh, buttons and your phone is now soft reset. So wait for it to boot up. Now if you are using an older model of iPhone like uh, an iPhone 7 
uh, perhaps or iPhone 8 you can press on the side button and the volume down button so press on both buttons press and hold until your phone is softly set now and if you are using a phone is um, older than that so if you've got an iPhone 5 or iPhone 6 you can press on the side button plus the volume um, the home button so press on the side button and the home button press and hold on both buttons until your phone uh, restart so give that a try and see if you can fix the problem with uh, with your alarm not going off okay the next thing you can try is to um, reset all settings on your device so let's go into settings so from the home screen tap on settings then tap on general then tap on reset and then tap on reset all settings so we are just basically resetting the, the settings on the device only not the data uh, settings like Wi-Fi settings your location GPS and privacy settings uh, they are getting reset back to the factory default so tap on reset all settings here so no data will be lost uh, during this process you may need to reconfigure uh, some settings like Wi-Fi settings and so on but nothing uh, too major now if everything that you have tried so far still failed then I guess the last thing that you can do is try to uh, restore your iPhone from iTunes or perhaps uh, reset uh, everything uh, back to the factory default and then restore from iTunes now to do uh, that you may uh, lose data on your phone so the best thing is to make sure that you back up all your, all your data on the phone back up photos, contacts so back up everything to your computer and then after you can try to um, restore your iPhone from a previous backup if you've got one otherwise you can reinstall uh, the software onto your iPhone and after the reinstallation you can try to restore the data back into your phone but that, that would be the last option I would try so try everything else first and if um, you can't figure out how to get it working then perhaps the best thing is to uh, restore your iPhone uh, back to the default and that's it thank you for watching this video uh, please subscribe to my channel for more videos so here is my alarm going off in two seconds and that's it you can hear the sound coming out from the volume down here and it's also vibrating while it's going off and that's it thank you for watching this video